Vampire Dave presents Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 Clan Gangrel. Greetings, family. Disclaimer What you're about to hear is enthusiastic fan speculation, albeit eloquent, entertaining, and well reasoned. There is no confirmed news yet. Spoilers ahead. What we do know is that in an interview with IGN at E3 2019, the development team told IGN that they'd be releasing at least two new vampiric clans to players. Uh, after the game launches in early 2020, my guess is that those two clans will be Nosferatu and Gangrel. That will bring our five currently playable classes to the same seven that were available in the original Bloodlines game. I think this is most likely as many of the returning fan base will have played Gangrel or Nosferatu and will be disappointed if they couldn't again. However, V5 supplement books have given us three additional playable classes so far. The traditionally independent Asimites in Camarilla, page 156, the also traditionally independent Settites in Anarch, page 176, and the traditionally Sabbat Sombra in the upcoming Chicago by Night supplement. So maybe Gangrel won't be playable. That would certainly shake things up a bit. I feel more certain that Clan Nosferatu will be playable since we've already seen that they're active in Seattle via Samuel and Slug. Also, Clan Nosferatu remains in the Camarilla, and all of the playable clans to date are in that faction whereas Clan Gangrel has officially gone Anarch, though some remain, so it's a toss-up. What do you guys think? Will we get Clan Gangrel, or will the Asimites, Setites, or Lissambra take their place? If Clan Gangrel were to be playable, let's talk about their disciplines. In Bloodlines 2, each clan will have one unique or specialized discipline and one shared discipline. I think there's little guesswork to be done. Protean was a Gangrel unique discipline in Bloodlines 1 before there was even a unique discipline rule and has been synonymous with them for more than 20 years. They're bestial, beast-like, and thus can take the form of beasts. How would this work mechanically? In Bloodlines 2, each other discipline so far has 2-3 to three skills with tiered power levels. In Bloodlines 1, unofficial patch, Protean was more or less a single skill, where each additional dot added more buffs until finally you were completely transformed. Dot 1 was Heat Vision and Bonus to Wits. Dot 2 was Unarmed uh, Damage Becomes Aggravated. Dot 3, Bonus to Stamina. stamina. <clears throat> dot 4, Bonus to Strength. Dot 5, Warform, Bonus to Damage. I would really like it if it worked more or less the same in Bloodlines 2. I'll say why. Firstly, some of the Discipline skills like Earth Meld, which allows you to sleep beneath the ground dur during daylight, don't really translate well into an action RPG. Havens are nice and central to the vampire mythos, but uh, are not really the focus of gaming on these platforms. Secondly, many of the disciplines skills uh, more or less belong to Thin Blood disciplines now. The Protean level 5 skill in V5 is Mist Form. Well, now that's in Nebulation. One of the Protean level 1 skills is Weight of the Feather, which gives them something like a slow fall. Mechanically, that's a lot like Chiropteran's Glide. So, Staying the multi-stage transformation sounds fun and interesting to me. Programming NPC masquerade violation behavior could carry over from Clan Nosferatu. You get progressive stat buffs the further you invest it, and at each tier would look slightly less human, which would be great visually. Heat vision would be really interesting as a, an auspex amalgam, except that it would only work on mortals, which seems appropriately hampered yet suited to kind of a bestial predator. And then there's Feral Claws. If people are honest, many roll Gangrel and Tabletop just for that skill. Retractable Claws means you're armed even when you're not, and the damage, kin they damage Kindred in the same way as Fire and Sunlight. Yes, please. My big concern would be that they give a unique action sequence to Gangrel fighting unarmed with Claws. You'd fight differently. I would be so disappointed if they had the same unarmed attacking visual, you know, the one that ends up with a trip kick at the end. Why would you do that if you have Claws? Right. So, what would their shared discipline be? Well, in Tabletop and in Bloodlines 1, their other two disciplines were Animalism and Fortitude. My guess would be that they either share Animalism with Clan Nosferatu. Uh, I talk more about that and what I think it would look like in my Clan Nosferatu video. Or that they would share Fortitude with Clan Ventru. And that discipline is already laid out for us, so there's no guessing required. Uh, which do you guys think that it will be? I want to end with just a little bit of lore. Uh, it's a big deal that the clan left the Camarilla. Basically, a gangrel named Xavier Earth melted to day sleep with the rest of his cottery, 
only to find out that they chose the same sleeping spot as the gangrel antediluvian. For those of you who don't know, antediluvians are some of the oldest vampires, third generation. So right after Ch Cain, who is the only first generation, and then his children who were the second. The prefix anti means before, and one of the meanings of diluvian is flood. So vampires who were embraced before Noah's flood uh, a long time ago. So they're sometimes the, the first of their clan. Anyway, so the gangrel antediluvian consumed Xavier's whole cottery and spit just him out. Whatever he learned in that communion, he resigned as a gangrel uh, justicar and left the Camarilla, and many followed him. There's a really cool war sheet in the back of Anarch, page 194, where you can roll a character who is a descendant of Xavier. Okay, so in Bloodlands 1, there are only three main gangrel NPCs that are named. The first is the uh, well-loved and scholarly slash skeptical Beckett. He's the Indiana Jones of Vampire the Masquerade, nomading between cities, which Gangrel are uniquely suited to do, uh, due to earth meld and travel forms. He's all about interviewing and artifacts to trace down the kindred origin story. He's not into the biblical Cain thing. Uh, he thinks they're extended metaphors at the most. I could do a whole video on Beckett as there's tons of devoted lore. Uh, maybe I will if enough people want me to. He has his own lore book called Beckett's Jihad Diary, which is really worth checking out if you're looking for something to do until release. Uh, my favorite thing about Beckett is that he really draws attention to the fact that Clan Gangrel suffers from a social penalty, not a mental one. Uh, the second Gangrel NPC is the Southland Slasher. He's a serial killer who you hunt for across the city for most of the game on the side quests Carnival of Death and Mud Hunt. You can actually see him once in human form at the Santa Monica Diner, but that's before you know who he is. When you finally trail him to a junkyard, he throws cars at you while he explains that his serial killings were a string of revenge killings on the criminals who killed his wife and child and that he's done with it. You can send him to final death or let him go. And the last Gangrel NPC in Bloodlines is Skelter. Most people think he's Bruja because he hangs out at the last round with Damsel and Nines, but if you look at his stats in the game code, he's listed as Gangrel. He's a quiet non-conformist and Vietnam War veteran, but uh, true to clan, he doesn't say much about much, which I really like. I think he's a great foil to Fat Larry, who is maybe the only other black major NPC. Uh, Skelter will express his contempt if you betray Nines. He lets you know that there are rumors that Smiling Jack was a pirate. And he has uh, one side quest for you to kill kind of a mouthy ghoul in order to preserve the masquerade. How cool is that? An anarch defending the masquerade. Even his name is cool, Skelter, <clears throat> which references uh, Charlie Manson's kind of BS racial war between the blacks and the whites. Um, I know someone will mention that I left out uh, the sheriff. Uh, while he does show that he has animalism in Smiling Jack's tutorial and maybe uh, Protean in the boss fight, I actually believe he's Samisi. Um, but there you have it, Clan Gangrel, Discipline, Lore, and all Bloodlines named NPCs. Please help a guy out and like, subscribe, and comment. Vampire Dave out.